Now, after deciding the type of bridge I was going to use, which was going to be the Warren Trust Bridge, I now decided that I was going to, before designing the bridge, I was going to CAD the bridge to make the process much easier and give me more or less of a blueprint so I could know more or less how to make it when it comes down to putting the straws. Now, when before I did the CAD, I made sure to measure the the length of one straw so I could more or less get an idea when creating this on CAD. Now, after getting the dimensions of one straw, I was able to replicate it on CAD and carefully place it along to make the the straw bridge. Now, if we look at my straw bridge, you will see that um, I had an overall height of 0.067 meters. I had a length of 0.2667 meters. I had a width of 0.0508 meters. And then the angle of the trusses were both 45 degrees. Now, the weight of the first bridge, which was the which is the skinny straw bridge, the regular straw bridge, that one came out to 0.113 kilograms. And the weight of the second one came out a little bit heavier, which is the jumbo straws coming in at 0.159 kilograms. Now, they both did have the same length. So overall, they did have the same dimensions and overall are the same length, width, and height. So they are equally built. Um, I did go ahead and attach my CAD um, file separately on Blackboard. Feel free to let me know if you have trouble um, opening it. I did attach some pictures of the front view, side view, and isometric view. So those should give you an idea of more or less how the CAD looks. And then yeah, feel free to open up the file and explore it and get a 360 view of it. Feel free to let me know if you can open the file and I'll resend it or address any issues. But yes, so after we were able to done CADing, we now are able to build the bridge with the straws. So after I was able to CAD it and figure out the dimensions, because the dimensions on the CAD are the same as the straws. So the CAD dimension one is equally is equally sized to the real life one. So they're equally built and have the same number of trusses and are equally built because I, I built it the same size on CAD as I am going to do in person. And so the dimensions are equally equal in CAD and in person. So yes, so the dimensions are on the left and my cat file should be attached and feel free to let me know if you have any problems opening it. Thank you.